Welcome back, Familia, to Northside LDN. And today, Arsenal 2, Wolves 0. This doesn't fool me. This Bulgaria doesn't fool me, yeah? This is the Arsenal that I've known for 20 years. When the pressure is off, all of a sudden, these Filush da Puta want to turn up. All of a sudden, these Filush da Puta want to win games. They want to win ugly. They want to do what needs to be done to get over the line. This Bukaria doesn't fool me. Today, yes, we got the flipping three points. Yes, we got the three points. But for me, it doesn't change anything. Arsenal can win every game to the end of the season. If City does the same thing, they win the league. It's irrelevant. It's irrelevant, so Filu da Puta. So, today, I'm not even angry. I'm just not impressed. I'll be real, bro. I'm not impressed. Today's performance for Yuma Bukaria, yeah, once again, we were unable to control the game. We were unable, yeah, to improve in our final flipping pass. We were trash today. Is anybody going to tell me today we were scintillating? Against a Wolves team that player for player we are better than. Today, for Yuma Dijgrasa. But we got over the line. Do you know why we got over the line? We got over the line today, just like against Porto, because player for player, we are better. But our style of play and the way that we were playing, foi uma desgraça. That is a reality. I'm, I'm not even angry anymore. Eu tô desapontado. Well, my mum used to tell me I'm not even angry anymore. Well, my mum couldn't even be bothered to lift up the wooden spoon. She's like, I'm not even angry. Eu tô desapontada. Today... The passing was trash. We had players getting us in stupid positions. Gabriel putting us in stupid positions. The goalkeeper doing stupidness. We're going to get into all of that. We were absolutely rubbish. But you know what? The same players that can drop stinker after stinker after stinker is the same poor man management from this filo da puta, this Spanish Joey from Friends. That's the reality. That's the reality. And when you see the wooden spoon, yeah? It's time to talk facts because I'm sick and tired of seeing this manager get away with it with his poor man management. Let me put the heating down, yeah? Before, Because my head gets hot. I don't need the heating on, yeah? The problem is, the problem is this. These players and this club has shown me they got bottle mentality every single time that the pressure is on. Last season, when people were telling me about 93%, I always said, this season will show me the difference on Arsenal, yeah? If we change that 7%. When it comes to the crunch, when it comes to pressure games, Aston Villa, pressure. Bayern Munich, pressure. Then you turn up. Not now, when the pressure's off. Not now, when we're no longer, you know, up there as one of the favourites to win the league. Now you man want to turn up. Now you man want to show a bit of character against Wolves. And I'm supposed to be impressed by this. I'm supposed to be impressed by this. I've been saying the same thing. Players that drop stinker after stinker after stinker. These maricas da merda keep on playing. Keep on playing. Let's start with the players. Let's get straight into it because I don't pull no punches over here. I say it as I see it. Saka, that filo da puta, once again, dropping a stinker, yet he gets to play 90 minutes. I don't get it, bro. I think this manager wants to be Madonna, bro. He wants to save the African kids. Filo da puta, you're not Oxfam. Arteta, you are not Oxfam. We don't need you to save us, bro. We don't need you to save us. We need you to manage the team. Why is it, once again, Saka doing another atrocious performance, yet he gets to stay on for 90 minutes? Explain to me what that Filo da puta did in this game to warrant that. Saka can't cross the ball. Saka can't, can't shoot. Saka can't take on his man. Saka was uma desgraça. And even when he was in certain situations, the guy is not putting the team to bed. But no, you know, Mikel Maradona, bro. Mikel, Mikel, Mikel Madonna wants to save the black kids. I'm sick and tired of it, bro. I'm tired of it. Sub that filo da puta immediatamente. Sub, sub him, bro. I don't understand this fetish of he has to play, bro. This guy's not taking on his man. This guy's not improving in anything, bro. Drag that flipping filo da puta off the flipping pitch, bro. The guy is so one-dimensional. Take him off. Take him off. But no, he has to play. He has to stay. He has to perform. Vai tu manu culso marica da merda, pa. Take him off. Why is it that certain players in this team are unsubbable? They can miss chance after chance. 
They can miss opportunity after opportunity. They can make wrong decision after wrong decision, but they have to start with 90 minutes. Gabriel Jesus today. This field of that puta missing chances. This field of that puta getting barged off the ball by Wolves. Wolves! By the B Tech Portuguese national team, bro. He's getting barged off the ball. Can't trap the ball. Getting barged off the ball, making the wrong decisions, missing chances in the box. Is that good enough? But you know what? The internet's become so stupid these days. Oh, but look at the score! But the score says 2-0! I don't care what the score says. The score doesn't reflect how bad of a performance that was today. I was falling asleep. I was falling asleep. I wanted to start scrolling on Instagram. That performance for Yuma Pukaria. This is the reaction that we get after they bottled it against Bayern Munich. Is that good enough? I'm sorry, today, 95% um, of this team dropped the stinker today. Stinker, bro. And the man are going to argue with me that they didn't. Saka was crap. Jesus was crap, bro. Trossard, listen. Trossard, for me, was man of the match. But he was very close in being in, in, down there with the rest of them. Because he was making a lot of stupid opportunities. Well, lack of, stu lack of opportunities as well. I'm done with it, bro. Jesus in the box. One on one with the goalkeeper. You're smacking it wide. Come on. Come on. Come on, man. This was poor today. And the only reason that we got through, do you know why? Player for player, we're better, bro. There's certain games that this happens. I said this as well for Benfica. Benfica this year for Portugal. He, they, Benfica have been trash. But you know what? They don't look as trash in their league. Do you know why? Because they got they spent more money on their team and they got a better team than about 95% of that league. That's why they will get away with it and they'll get little three nils, two nils. But then they go out and play against Marseille in the Europa League and they get slapped up. I've seen teams, yeah, like this. Where right now, because we won, oh, it looks okay. No, 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 no. If we was up against a proper team, we'd get slapped up today. If we was up against any of the big six today, we'd get slapped up today. You best believe that. Everybody was crap. Trossard by himself was the only one trying to create situations. The only one trying to drag us through. The only one trying to do anything. That is atrocious. Odegaard today was on my bucaria, bro. Once again, not creating enough, not doing enough. Declan Rice, I've been saying, you can't keep relying on Declan Rice to score goals. Yes, he was trying to create certain opportunities. How many times did that guy have opportunities in the box going wide, hitting the ball wide, hitting the ball wide, hitting the ball wide? Oh my disgrace. Oh my disgrace. But they think, but certain people are going to think this is good enough. Bro, don't try gas me, bro. Don't try gas it, bro. How many times have we had opportunities in the box? Have our opportunity in the box hit straight at the goalkeeper? Do you know what I'm saying? Saka and Odegaard giving the ball away. Jesus hitting the ball wide. Saka hitting it straight at the goalkeeper when he had an opportunity one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. Is this good enough? But this is what you get. When I tell these maricas da merda that we needed a striker, this was always going to happen. You are going to have games where you feel frustrated and people are going to say, oh, but we won 2-0 against better opposition, filo da puta. We don't get back into this game. Wolves offered absolutely nothing and we are lucky. We are lucky that they hit the post and Rea actually reacted, yeah? Because Kivio, that flipping beanhead, filo da puta, that flipping Polish Caillou, yeah, was getting cooked. You want to see what Kivio looked like today? Getting absolutely cooked. Let me show you, bro. Let me show you this filo da puta. Caillou. Bro, this is, this is, this is this filo da puta, bro. This is this filo da puta. Yeah? This is, this is, this is a uh, Kivio today, bro. This is him. This is him. Where is he? Where's Caillou? Here we go. Here we go. This is your older guard, bro. The guy that people are telling me, yeah, is good enough for Arsenal. Yeah? There you go. That's Kivio today. Caillou, bro. How many times did this guy get cooked today? How many times did this guy get put on his ass? This guy almost cost us a goal, bro. Yeah? This is what we got. I told you, man, that he ain't good enough. I told you, man, that Caillou ain't good enough, bro. But because he's got this little bean head, you, man, think it's okay. It ain't good enough, bro. It ain't good enough. Against better teams, we get cooked today. We get cooked today. Declan Rice in good positions today. Hitting it straight at the goalkeeper. É uma desgraça. I don't I don't get to know what Eu não estou aqui para ouvir nenhuma desculpas. Não vale a pena. 
Não vale a pena. Não vale a pena, bro. I told man Kivy ain't good enough. Oh, but he put on a couple of performances. He can do a job. Oh, okay. The same people that tell me that can do a job. Rob Holden. Uh, 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 Reese Nelson. Fabi Vieira. Lokonga. Yeah, Nun Tavaj. All these men that can do a job. Bro, allow it. Allow it. Yeah? I'm always here to tell you the storm is round the corner. We are not winning the league. And then ultimately, yeah, all the finished that puta that are in my chat right now that are talking to me about, oh, it's acting like you lost the game. It acting like you lost the game. Filo da merda. I never said we lost the game. All I'm saying is we're rattled. Yeah? And because we're rattled, and because this manager can't get the best out of this team, and because we're not prepared, we're not winning the league. Season acabo. Fest acabo. Film acabo. Tudo acabo. Telenovela acabo. We're not winning anything. And these men are showing me exactly what I've been saying. They are soft belly. Soft belly Arsenal once again. Pork belly Arsenal. That is what we've been and that is what we are. Pork belly Arsenal. And because we got away with it now, now people are going to be talking about, oh, but look, look at the fighting spirit. Fight too much. Um desh. Um desh. Yeah? They're not so stupid. Yeah? Tactics. No. Oh, are you angry that Arsenal won? I'm angry that Arsenal are not going to win the league. Yeah? Bigger picture. Bigger picture. It's not just about winning one game. I can see this team is rattled. This team has no idea. The manager has no idea. The manager has no clue as to how to get the best out of this team. Who are you chatting about? But as always, this fan base, this fan base, yeah? It's funny. Do you know, what, do you know what's the funniest thing? When me and Lee... We're doing emergency streams about Arsenal going out of the Champions League. When Arsenal bought us it against Aston Villa, where were these people, bro? Where were these people now that want to be running up their mouth? Don't worry, because I'm going to be here, back here, at the end of the season. And I bet you won't be in the video. And if you are, you ain't going to comment, yeah? But now you've got chest because we beat, what? We beat Wolves. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah? One game, and all of a sudden, these men pipe up again. This is why the whole league doesn't want... This is why the fan base of the rest of the league doesn't like Arsenal. Because of this fan base, bro. They don't know when to be humble, and they don't know when they're defeated. These men want to still be talking about, oh, well, but we won a game. I don't give a shit, filo da puta. I want to win the league. I want to win a major honour, and we're not winning it. It was in our hands, and we bottled it. And now it's in City's hands. You think they're going to bottle it? You think they're going to bottle it? Man City today were 50% up against Chelsea and they still got the job done. That's the difference between a team like them and a team like ours. Even when the pressure's on, yeah, in a cup game, they still got the win, even when they weren't in their best form. That's the difference between them and that's the difference between us. Because when we're in knockout stages, what do we do? Oh yeah, we bottled it. The last couple of years under this manager, what have we been doing? Bottling it. Bottling it out of the FA Cup, bottling it out of the Carabao Cup, bottling it in Europe. What are you talking about? Yeah, I'm supposed to have confidence in this team and this manager. Yeah, all right. All right, then. Man, I already know what my requirements is. Win me the league. Otherwise, I'm I'm never going to be our tetherin. Win me a major honour. Win me a major honour. Declan Raya. Uh, what was Raya doing with that pass across the box? <clears throat> We're getting pressed. And this Filo da Puta is doing a cross doing a pass across straight to Kivio when there's two Wolves players in our box. Why? 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 On another day, we concede. <clears throat> on, another, on another day, we concede. Am I lying? You're a goalkeeper. You're getting pressed. If in doubt, kick it out. No, do you know what he does? Pass it across the box. Is that, is that good enough? Is that good enough? I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Bro, Trossard long ball to Havertz. Header to Jesus. He heads it to Odegaard. Odegaard smashes it over the post. But I've been saying it, bro. I've been saying this Odegaard guy, he ain't good enough. He ain't good enough, bro. Kivio completely missing the ball and allows the Wolves player to come in behind and they hit the post. Is that good enough? Oh, but because we got away with it, that's we won't talk about that because we got away with it today. Ah... <sighs> Trossard, Bryson Trossard hitting it wide, yeah? Saliba giving the ball away near the box. Both of these, how many games have we had in the last 10 games where both our centre-backs are putting us under unnecessary pressure? Saliba giving the ball away, mispassing the ball in the box. 
in the outside of the box, you're giving the ball to the opposition. Better opposition, bro. They score. They score. But you know what? You can't say that. Because it's Arsenal, we're not allowed to say that. We can't say anything. We have to just, oh no, you're just happy with the win. Make sure, make it seem like everything was amazing. Our goalkeeper and Saliba could have cost us a goal today. They could have cost us three points. These men are still rattled. Saliba wasn't making these mistakes at the start of the season, but now he's making those mistakes. You know why? Because they're rattled. They are rattled. And the pressure is still on. And you could see it. And this is the same thing that happened last season. Before we got to the Nottingham Forest game, there wasn't pressure. As soon as we got towards the Nottingham Forest game, we started bottling games, drawing games, not performing the same way. Do you know why? Every time the pressure is on, this is what happens. Every time. And we got away with it today. We're not going to keep getting away with it. we got Chelsea and Spurs. The man thing that we can keep having our goalkeeper and our, and our centre-back making mistakes. Jesus, missing opportunities. Odegaard, missing opportunities. Saka being literally non-existent in the game. And we're going to get away with that. We're going to get away with that. <laughs> oh, my days. This is one of the deadest games I've seen. I can't even, I can't even lie. I can't even lie. Yeah? we got Havertz crossing the ball to Trossard. And Jesus is kicking Trossard. <laughs> I am Mel Deus. I am Mel Deus. Uh, a man think this is good enough. Man think this is good enough, yeah? We're just going to keep getting away with it, yeah? We're going to keep getting away with it. Listen, all you top gooners, I hope you keep getting rattled, bro, because I'm not going to stop saying the truth just because it hurts your feelings, yeah? Welcome to real life, yeah? Welcome to life once you leave school and your parents saying they're to protect you. Real life is about real stuff. Yeah, you better get rid you better get used to it. Otherwise, I don't know. I don't know what to say to you, bro. Go live in an island somewhere. Yeah. But life, yeah. Facts are facts. Depend it doesn't matter about your feelings. It doesn't matter that you're upset. It doesn't matter that you want to gas it up. Starboy has been missing for how many games now? How many games? But no. His man don't want to listen. His man don't want to listen, go. You know what I mean? <clears throat> These men don't want to listen, bro. These men don't want to listen. But don't worry. Don't worry. I'm here to give you the facts. Man, I'm saying top gooners were going in on you on TikTok, Northside. Is it? Don't worry. Let me see that. Trust me. Man, I destroyed them. Yeah? Don't worry about that. There's no problem. One, one, one battle at a time. One battle at a time. I'll finish them. You know what I'm saying? For me, today's performance was uma pokaria, uma desgraça. And... This performance to me ain't good enough to convince me that we're going to win a major honour. I don't think we're going to win the league. I don't think it's good enough. And I don't understand why there's too much favouritism. You know what I mean? I don't understand. Odegaard was okay. I don't think he was the worst. He definitely wasn't the best. Definitely wasn't the best. I think Ben White was decent. I think Trossard and Ben White and, and, and Raya was probably our best, our, best, uh, our best players today. Trossard kept going. Trossard did well to get his goal. Took that very, very well. Yeah. Literally, I'll give I'll give Jesus a little bit of props. He didn't go to the ground. He didn't try to just fall and get the penalty. He passed it back to Trossard. And Trossard, what a finish. Yeah? Big up to Trossard. He did not stop working. He did not stop trying. His, his last ball wasn't always the best. His finishing wasn't always the best. But you know what? Trossard kept going, bro. He kept going. He kept fighting. He didn't give up. He didn't just concede that we're not controlling the game. And the way he took that goal, what a goal. What a goal. Yeah, and he was pivotal in a lot of good things that we was doing today. But the game itself was rubbish. Ben White was decent. Kivior was up down there probably with our worst player, if not one of them. It was trash, bro. The season is done. I was talking to Hassan. Both of us has conceded. The season is done, bro. Season is done. <coughs> season is done. Season is done, bro. We ain't winning nothing. We ain't winning nothing. And what, what's incredible that it's taken up to this point for people to realise that Jesus ain't good enough. It's taken up to this level for people to realise that Saka's been... He's not been good enough. He hasn't been good enough, bro. He really hasn't been good enough. But because he gets the odd goal, people accept the performances. He gets away with it. He'll score a goal and then everybody justifies his poor performance. He's been rubbish for time. He's been poor for, for ages, bro. Jesus has been trash since he's come back from flipping injury. He's been trash. Havertz today. How many times have we sat here and said Havertz is not a mid... How come everybody can see that Havertz 
His best position, not in the midfield. But this manager continues. We saw it against Bayern Munich. Do you know what Arteta says? Don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah? Don't worry, guys. How else? I need you to do a job to pressure, to bring the ball, to move the ball, to shake the ball, and move it around the ball, and try to play the triangle here, there, and everywhere, and get Jesus in the game. Please, guys, pressure the ball. Are you mad? How many more times do you need to experiment with Havertz through the middle? How many more times? How many more times do we need to see this? A man think what? Yeah? Man think what? Man think I'm supposed to be getting gassed over this team because we won today. How many more times does this manager need to see that Jesus is not a gunman? That the best, if you're going to use Havertz, use him as a striker or bench him. I don't understand it. Saka is burnt out and he's out of form. Bench him. Bench him. At the worst, at the best, use him as an impact sub. But for 90 minutes, this guy has been trash. He needs to hold bench. Why is Martinelli holding bench but Saka ain't? Both have been trash. But only one is made accountable for their, for their flipping performances. I, I don't get it. Kivio has been trash lately. You put Tomiyasu, we looked a lot more solid. Take him off. You make Zinchenko, yeah, you, you, you make Zinchenko pay for his poor performances. Why is Kivio not paying for his performances? We've been seeing this guy getting cooked. Why is he starting? Why is he starting? But you know what? A lot of this fan base will come up with, oh, but, but we won the game, so it don't matter. We won the game, it doesn't matter. On another day, we lose. I don't need to keep seeing this until the day we lose to tell you I told you so. We've been telling you that Kivio isn't the answer. We've been saying that. Man don't want to listen. Oh, you got agendas. Oh, this, oh, that. This guy will keep getting cooked. He's not of the level. Now Tommy Asu's back. Play him. Havertz is not a midfielder. Saka needs to be benched. Jesus is not a gunman. And he's in poor form. It's, we ain't got a gunman. But at least Havertz was in decent form playing up front. I don't even rate him, but he was in better form. But you're sacrificing Havertz's form to stick him in the midfield, to stick with Havertz. It doesn't make sense, bro. It doesn't make sense. The centre-backs need to be held to account. They keep making the same old bucaria, bro. I don't need Saliba looking like Dutchavelli with flipping 21 charges, bro. In defence, this guy is going to cost us a game. Bench him. And if you don't bench him, why didn't you get us another centre-back when you sold Rob Holding, bro? It makes no sense, bro. It makes no sense. But because we're getting away with it, now the flipping deluded side of the fan base are going to be talking, Pukaria, merda, afalala to afala lishu. You know why? Because all it says is three points. But these are the same men that weren't listening to us when we said this manager isn't a great coach. This manager is going to lose against Bayern. This manager is going to bottle the league. They don't want to listen. Now they want to start running out their mouth. No worries. No problems. You man can still be deluded. No worries. No worries. At the end of the season, yeah? At the end of the season, you man are getting it. A man are telling me that certain man on TikTok are sending for me. Let me tell you something. You TikTokers that want to mention my name, I'm going to finish you. I'm going to finish you. And when I'm done finishing you, I'm going to keep my foot on your neck and I'm going to finish you again. Yeah, I'm going to bury you, take you out the mud, rebury you and then take you out the mud again and then cremate you. Yeah, you want to chat shit on my name when I've been keeping it real and being honest with my club and my team because I want my club to win. No problem. No problem. Unless you ain't noticed, I'm used to this. I've been having this my whole life. No problem. No problem. Because if I have to be getting all this heat because I took the real problem. No problem. No problem. No problem, bro. No problem. I'm going to make you man a thumbnail. Yeah? You man will be a thumbnail. You don't want to play with me. No worries. I'll make you a thumbnail. Yeah? Because I everything I say, whether you like it or not, yeah? Whether you like it or not, I say it for the betterment of my football club because I want Arsenal to be successful. And it kills me. Yeah? It kills me when this club is not successful. I'm not the one going on TikTok putting a Real Madrid shirt after Arsenal get eliminated and celebrating Real Madrid. I'm the fan that's hurting because we're knocked out. Because I want us to win it. Because I want us to be great. So no problem. 
anyone that wants to send for me, no worries. I'll make you a thumbnail. We can go back to back. Don't worry. Yeah? Don't worry. We can do the story of Adidon on all these top gooners. Yeah? And I'll finish you like push a T. Yeah? Finish all of you. Don't worry about that. Yeah? No worries. The man can clip this as well. No side. They want the smoke. I want all the smoke. All the smoke. Because I've been telling man. And man don't want to listen. No worry. I want all the smoke. I don't duck the smoke. So I'll be going on TikTok and I'll be having a look out. No worries. No worries. Let me put the link out for you, man, to have your say. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I'm 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 literally a fan like the rest of you lot. But listen, let me let me tell you something. Everyone that feels like us, everyone that wants to win, everyone that's got standards and all that, I'm more than happy to fight our corner. Don't worry about that against anyone. Anyone can get it. They want to be talking rubbish to me. Rubbish to me. These foolish da puta owe me an apology. Owe me an apology. And not just me, Lee, and all the other real ones that have been speaking the same crap. These might want to chat to me because we beat Wolves. Now they want to be cocky and lyric. No worries. No worries. You know I do my Googles. Yeah? You know I do my Googles. Don't make me have to do DJ Academics versus Meek Mills on you. I'll finish you. You know what I'm saying? No worries. No worries. Because one thing they can't get away from, yeah? One thing they can't get away from is facts. And the fact is, we've left ourselves short when I told you we need another cent a centre mid, yeah? We left ourselves short when I told you we need another defender. I left ourselves short when I told you we need another striker, when we need another right winger. Mash, you finished that put I don't want to listen. So no problem. No problem. Today we got to see Partey come on. Okay? Okay. No worries. No worries, man. You know what I'm saying? Big up static, man. You already know what time it is, bro. The link is there. Let me pin, let me pin that. Let me pin the comment for the link if you do want to jump on. There we go. That has been pinned now to the chat for anyone that wants to jump on. You already know what time it is. You make make sure you put your uh, make sure you put your camera on and your mic on and you can jump on and have your say. You already know what time it is, bro. You know what I mean? Yo, hold on. Here we go. Whoa, what are you saying? Big up. What are you saying, man? Did you watch the game? Yeah, I watched the, I watched the first half, but I didn't watch the second. But, bro, you were getting dominated for the most of the time. Like, kind of struggling, but... Yeah, I can't, I can't say less. I'm just... Uh... Mm? Yeah. That's... <laughs> I mean, that's your analysis, yeah. That's your analysis after you're giving it all that mouth, yeah, before the game. Hold on, I wasn't <laughs> giving it all that you was. <laughs> that's oh, your analysis. Oh, right, cool. That's fine. That's fine. I don't know, man. Man City fans were saying that, that it was a penalty against Cole Palmer, against Greedish. <clears throat> I don't know about all of that. I don't know. Hey, listen, the stars are not aligning for Arsenal though, after that performance. Bro, didn't we look? Didn't we look rattled? We look rattled, I like. Yeah, we look nervous, bro. Against wolves, hey. we had no flow. We didn't dominate the game. We didn't dominate possession. Our final th in the final third, we were all over the place, bro. We were all over the place, bro. And you expected me to be confident when we've got you on Tuesday? Like, nah, absolutely not. Yeah, but how am I gonna be confident when my goalkeeper, and my centre back, are giving away stupid, stupid balls, bro, and putting us under pressure? How am I going to be confident, bro? How oh, am I right. going to be confident with Jesus missing chance after chance, with Rice missing chance after chance, with Havertz getting forced to be in the midfield when he's not a midfielder? How am I going to be perfect? What, because we got away with it today? <laughs> Come on, bro. Come I'm on, gonna bro. Be I'm not, I'm not going to be confident after this shit, but Premier League's different to the FA Cup. Bro. We both said that on the stream. It's crazy, bro. It's crazy. You know what I mean? What are you man saying? Yeah. Let's go with the, the, the real king. What are you saying, bro? Yo, yo, fam, you're good enough, side, yeah. Um Arsenal, yeah. I watched the game, bro. And yeah, and yeah, and yeah, and yes, you want to know, but it was not it was not it was still not a great performance from you guys. I mean these I mean your team your team got put in the spliff by Aston Villa by Dracula and um and Tariq St. Patrick and I show speed. So 
this is, so this is, so 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 this is what so this is what Arsenal fans have been this is what Arsenal fans have been saying. They say saying that they're going to win the league, saying that pray for Bayern Munich, saying Bakayo Saka's world class, Saka's carried us Saka's carried us all season, this and that like like bro, it's the same it's the same old shit what Arsenal fans always say. And this is in this is in the DNA of your club. Every, every time, every time when you overgas overgas your team, every time when you overgas your team, you bottle it when it comes down to the last eight to ten eight to ten games. And this is why and, and this is why I I can I can I can always say that Arsenal will never ever win the league because it's in their DNA. And I never the, say never. <laughs> and never say never. The, and never fan, say never. Do you have this flipping dot? Then we're going to kick us up for career, you know that puta. Well, you see this fucking dot. Don't come with this crap, bro. This you know that puta. How chess with Nah, it's done. Yeah? The, Curtains on the yeah. wall. Curtains on the yeah. wall. You don't want to yeah. come back. Nah, don't yeah, try yeah. it. Bro, I told yeah. you I wasn't confident for the game. I told you. And this yeah, is what Arsenal fans deserve, bro. Season's over, bro. Season's yep. over. Yep. No, you said you are to to wrap in if Wolves win. No, you said that. When, no one even tried. You know I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't say that. Uh, yeah, like Arsenal, Arsenal are just Arsenal in it. Like, like every time they just give Arsenal. You know what Arsenal is? Yeah, Arsenal fans are not you, no side or league on but. These Arsenal fans on AFTV, these Arsenal fans are like when a man goes into a fight and then he gets fisted up by next by a by, by, by a next man. That's what Arsenal Football Club is. Because because they give it all of that chat, yeah, and then they get fist up. Every single season, the same damn thing happens. We repeat over and over and over again. And this is why I can't stand Arsenal fans as well, because they try and take digs at my club. Try and take digs at my club, and for no reason. And yep. they say, "Oh, oh, we won." Oh, they were saying that um, last season. They were saying that that they had a better season than Manchester United when they didn't win a trophy last season. We won the Carabao Cup last season, and these men said we had a better season because we finished second place. That's what these Arsenal fans were saying. That's what they were saying. So, so, so yeah. So, so, so this is this is Arsenal Football Club, bro. And it couldn't happen to a, a better team, bro, because these man, these man always chat shit. And this is why I always respect Northside and League Gunner because they always keep it a hundred. They don't get you Northside and League Gunner. You never, you never get sucked sucked in with. With with these fans, you have your own opinion and you speak it. And all these Arsenal fans who don't like your opinion get all emotional about it. Bro, do you know what? Yeah, look at this comment here. Big up to you, bro. Look at this comment here. This stage of the season, just about points that uh, matters. You man saw me on my channel. What did I say with the last ten games to go? Yeah, yeah. What did I say? Yep. I'll requote myself. I yep. said, I don't care about performance. Get me the win. Get you the win yet. Said, if we had too many draws, season's over. If we get a loss, season's over. We lost to Aston yep. Villa and we drew to Man City. Season is over. Yep. Up until that yeah. point that we bought that we drew against Man City, even though we drew up, Man City, I was still I was still being positive and I was saying, as long as we keep winning, we can't draw another game, <laughs> we can't lose another game. If we lose another game, it's done. Yeah, what happened? We lost. So why am I <laughs> gonna be behind the team about points that matter? Let me give you a little fact. If Arsenal win every other game to the end of the season and yep. so they win the league, it's no longer in our hands. We don't have an advantage. Yep. Same thing with Liverpool. We gave up our advantage and people are telling me, oh, just believe. Even if we <laughs> win every game and City win every game, they win the league. Yes. They just go out the Champions League so you know they're going to be yep. focused on winning the Prem, bro. Yeah. And they have a history of not bottling it, while we have a history of bottling yeah. it. Yeah, 
100%. Everything I wanted this manager to be to make me believe he ain't done it. I wanted yeah. him to have a plan B to make me believe. He didn't do it. I wanted him to get a striker. He didn't do it. I wanted him to get a bench. He didn't do it. Yeah. Those things would make me believe more. He didn't do it. And yeah. now man asking me about belief. I don't want to know about belief, yeah. bro. I'm not believing yeah. in nothing, bro. Hey, <laughs> hey, uh, no side. Like you said in my team, trust the process. you got to trust your process. Trust the process. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You got um, you got Franklin, you got Franklin from um, um, you got Franklin from Snowfall, Eddie and Eddie and Ketty, you know, like that. You got you got Eddie and Ketty, you, you got Tea Bag from Prison Break, Fabio Vieira, Reese Nelson, and 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 these man, what these man were hyping up, bro. Declan Blocklot rise, yeah. Declan Blocklot rise, one hundred million pounds. Yeah, what what did what did he do in your your two most important games or three most important games? Did jack shit, mate. Did jack shit against Bayern Munich and did jack shit against Aston v- v- Villa. But no, but no, Arsenal fans will forget about that. Arsenal fans will Arsenal fans will forget about that. They were saying that Declan Rice is better than Casemiro, bro. These Arsenal fans were saying Declan Rice is better than Casemiro, saying that he's the best defensive midfielder in the world. Okay, Martin, okay. you know hmm? what? Certain man said. Certain man said that. Oh, Rice is better than Rodri. Yes, yeah, Rice is better than Rodri. Rodri is oh, never <laughs> Yep, yep. That's what these man were saying, bro. They they were saying Declan <laughs> Rice is better than Rodri, bro. <laughs> They were saying Martin Erdegaard kept better than Kevin De Bruyne. He's the best creative midfielder in the world. That's what these Arsenal fans were saying. And these Arsenal fans were saying that Kyle Saka's the best, the best right winger in the world. They were saying Gabriel Jesus, Gabriel Jesus is going to lead us to a league title. Zenshenko as well, he's going to lead us to a league title because they won league titles at Man City. Pep Guardiola knew exactly what he was, exactly, what he was planning bro. with these, these two players, bro. These Pep Guardiola knew what he was planning, bro. Everything you're saying is facts, yeah. If you man yeah. lose to Coventry, <laughs> listen, listen. No worry, don't worry about my club. I know where my clubs are in it. Like I know where my clubs are. Yeah. Have you have you got uh, IG? Yeah. Message me on IG because when I do that video. You okay. Know, I need you. Okay. You need you, you need me, yeah. You need me. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, don't worry about my trash team, is it? Like, but my team been trash for like a decade, bro. So, I've accepted where my club has been at, bro. We we've got um Max Bannon in charge, bro. We got we got Max Bannon in, in charge, bro. We got. Eric Tenag, bro, Max, but, 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 but then that's what we got, that fraud, bro. That fraud, you know, I like know, that. You get to see me in the pain and also have to share the pain, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> make sure you're available. I, <laughs> message me on IG. <laughs> I send you the link. <laughs> I'll send you the link, bro. I'll send you the link. Listen, I'm, bro, I'm, I'm not even going to lie, yeah? I don't disagree. Coventry, said. Coventry you uh, must, bro, you must. Yeah, yeah, you come on, you come on, come on, come on you must, you must win. Are you doing yeah. the watch along? Yeah, you, be, you want yeah. to do the watch along? We'll do the watch along together, bro. Do the watch along, yeah. <laughs> bro, I did it today, and I had to suffer with him the whole, the whole day with him. I'm telling nah, you, bro. Hey, what do you did you watch the Arsenal game? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I watched the what Arsenal me, yeah. game for the. I think the, it was the second half. Yeah, and the first half as well. And I gotta say, man. Saka is back to his original best, limping on the field and crying like a little baby. Actually, I think I've got <laughs> One of my guys sent me this. Hold on. Hold on. Let me hold on. Let me get this. Where is this? Is, can you finish me on that? Ah. The funniest thing is Northside was just kept singing the songs while the seating game was going on. Like, yeah, I'm not looking forward. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that one, man. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it's crazy. Crazy, man. Crazy. But that's all Bro, right. Bro, man's doing more lips, you know. 
Man's getting them limbs in, bro. Big Kyle Saka, you know what I mean? Man's limping, bro. Always limping, fam. You know, like that. So the limpsons, innit? The limpsons. This is what I'm getting said, bro. Uh, this is what I'm, getting, I'm getting cooked, and these men know what I'm about. You know what I'm saying? It's it's, it's yeah. So, don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry. No side. When you lose, when you lose to Chelsea, Tottenham. Don't worry, I can cook you. Don't worry, I, I can yeah. cook you. Don't worry. I can yep. kick you right now, but I'm going to. This I'm guy. Going to. Look yeah. at him, bro. Look at him. He got time now, ain't he? He got the kid, bro. Oh, oh, hey, oh, my hey, bro. oh, my God. You'll never see that again. Where's your European Cup? Where's, Where's your, your European, 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 European Cup? Where's your European Cup? You'll never see that again. Yeah. Yeah, oh my god, your reaction though, side as after the Aston Villa game. Now do the rock away, Saka. Now lean back, lean back. That's what Saka was doing, fam. Lean, lean, leaning back, fam. You know, like that. Do the rock away in that, fam. Took his socks off and he's like, Oh, yeah. yeah. I forgot, I forgot, bro. Where was Kai Havertz? <laughs> Where was fucking Kai Havertz, bro? Neil from the in betweeners. Neil from the in betweeners, <laughs> fam. Where, where, where was this guy, fam? You know what, like that, fam. That's what this guy is, bro. Where was he, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Ross, look at that, man. This man are having a blast. Peter, we playing, bro. Peter. Yes. Yes, buddy. Hey, down. We say, bro. You are also fan. Mate, for the last twenty-five years, I'm from Australia, calling in. What are you saying? What do you make of the game? Pathetic. Regardless of the scoreline, it's still pathetic. The season's over. I've been calling this shit out for the last four and a half years since Arteta came on. I'm like, it doesn't justify him being a manager. He's done nothing to prove it. The first two years were shocking. He won the FA Cup with Emery's team, the one who was very toxic. He got rid of all the top players because he can't have someone that's an A-grade player above him. They're not going to listen to him. Goes and gets all these crappy signings, 650 to 700 mil later, and we're challenging. Who are doing that under Wenger? <clears throat> top four, make Champions League, get slapped in the round of 16, and get this, my brother-in-law, he's a Bayern Munich fan. So you can imagine the shit I was copping for the years every time we face him in the round of 16. And they're posting, oh, remember the 2013 2-0 win away? Come on. Sick of this shit. I hear it. I hear it. Um, who would you say played well today? Did anyone play well for you today? Yeah. Odegaard was okay. Other than that, Jesus mm. has been... Like you said, ever since he's come back from his injury, it's been crap. And Saka has his moments. The the one I feel sorry for is Trossard. I don't understand what's his problem with not playing him and starting him and keeping him on. The guy's the one that's been scoring for us. Martinelli's gone off. All he does is just run down the line. If he's got no space, he's got nothing. He'll pass back. Or like today, an in danger, booting it back to Raya. Raya under pressure. He, kicks it out and then our left back is a liability we had the best left back now he's in spain Quarantini. and those fake aftv fans years back when i used to watch them they were saying Quarantini, he's got captain material in him he'd be a captain of this club now because ateta kicked him out they all jump on the bandwagon and call him Tini's not the best and but zinchenko Come on. Sick of it. My wife, you know yeah, who's got... Go on, go on. My wife who knows nothing about soccer. She knows nothing about soccer. I've been doing her head in for the last 15 years about Arsenal. She's like, why do you keep watching them if they keep losing and it ruins your day? Thanks. I was like, that's a fair point. But my love for the club is what keeps me going but the problem is i started voicing my opinion on facebook and i get all these minions coming out well, i'll go down the road and follow spurs you clown i'm like are you kidding me <laughs> spurs 
like, who are these fans to tell me who to follow and who not to follow? And then, oh, come, come and watch every game like we do. I'm like, I'd love to, but I'm all the way in Australia. And even if I had the opportunity, why would I be wasting my money? All I'm doing is supporting the owners. I'm just injecting money into their pockets. They couldn't give a shit about you as a fan. Facts. Nah, facts, man. Listen, everything you said is facts, bro. Listen, don't let them belittle you, yeah? They can say whatever they want. Most of them ain't even anywhere near your age. One thing I love about this channel is there's loads of people that feel the way that we do, mm. yeah? The problem is mm. there's too many channels that perpetuate everything is amazing. There's loads of fans that feel like this, that facts. had enough, that want to win, yeah? But because of the other channels that are huge, that are always getting happy about everything the club does and oh it's ridiculous to say that get yeah. rid of the carteta right to my own this this is an embarrassment today against better opposition we lose this game we lose mm. it bro yep you do. this team didn't turn up today bro 95 percent. i would say raya did well to block that shot that hit yep. the post i would say ben white was actually pretty decent he was actually yep. all right and Trossard, he wasn't amazing today, yeah? But he took his chance and he kept going, bro. He didn't give up. He kept going. And he wasn't getting the best yeah. service. He kept going. Everybody else dropped the stinker, bro. Everybody else dropped the stinker. But because we got the three points, out. it's okay. It's rubbish, bro. Yep. Yep. This is what I hear as well about football fans in general, yeah? As well, yeah? They always say, yeah, oh, let's give this player time because he's 19. Or let's give this player time because he's 18, 19 or 20. No, bro. When you play for Manchester Manchester United, Arsenal, Liverpool, Man City, Chelsea, yeah, you bring players, you bring players who are good enough right now, bro. You, you, you bring players who are good enough now, bro, to win your trophies, bro. You don't bring these players, the project process freaking players, what what, what what fans will, will say oh let's give them time bro because they're 18 and 19. what people don't understand yeah is certain players don't have their basic fundamentals and basic fundamentals um um to be good enough at a club at a big club like arsenal manchester united man city liverpool or um or chelsea but fans but fans want fans want you know they won't agree with that. Fans, fans will try and spin it and say, "Let's give them time because they're they're 19 and 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 because if we if we keep on giving these players time, they're going to become world class." No, it doesn't work like that, bro. It doesn't work like that. Not every young player is going to become world class, bro. At 18 and 19, bro, that's not how football works. So it's going to take a so years. Not, to not, yeah. not, a, not according in here as bad as we were still 24 shots second highest for arsenal this season away from home arsenal manic i know you're a real one yeah it's not sustainable bro we took off our first substitution is taking off the work the best player on the pitch why is trossard getting taken off the pitch when he's our best player make that make no. sense to me make that make that sense no give me your seeing yeah 19 minutes give you he was getting caught <laughs> oh my How god yeah he was minutes, getting cooked. He was ineffective in midfield. How is that sustainable to win games, bro? And this is yeah. why when people say to me, like a gal, oh, it's a learning curve. The manager's not <laughs> learning, bro. It's a learning curve. That's the joke. Yeah? Bro, the the two years. Oh. bro, game is for life, yeah? How many decisions you know that your teammate complete, your teammate ready to win the league, but there's basic things that the manager could do that can improve. Not playing Gallagher. Dropping Jackson when he's dropping a stinker. Not playing certain yep. players. Play certain players in their best position. There's yep. certain things that managers can do to give you hope and faith in them that they can turn it around. But, no but when a manager's doing the wrong substitutions, wrong game plan, is it has favourites, yeah? Havertz, Kivior, Saka, Jesus. All these four players, yeah? Three of them saw 90 minutes and four of them yep. were stinking out the place. How is that good game management, bro? Not really. That isn't good game management really. to me, bro. Do you think? Uh, I said that. Think are against Tottenham? I said that. Gone, gone, Peter, gone. Sorry, bro. I was just I'm driving at the same time. 
I, I was saying uh, there was a question asked, why does Arteta keep certain players on? And I'm like, well, it comes down to favoritism. It's yep. he relies on he relies on yes men. People that challenge his decisions, they're dropped and never yep. heard of again. Yep. I, I get told, what do you know? You're not a manager. I'm like, I don't need to be a manager to see it. I don't need to be a manager to see it. You just know it. This is, you know this it, is yeah. what kills me. This is what kills me about these minion fans. They mm -hmm. all jump on the bandwagon and justify the crap. Let me say something. When Conte came to Chelsea, what face was he in when he won the title? When Sari came in, what face was he in when he won? I think, what was it, the Champions League? No, the Europe. Europe. No, the, Europe. the Euro, Europe. sorry. Thomas Tuchel. What, what face was he in when he won? The but Champions then I get told, oh, you need, to, you need to rate them after four years. I was like, yeah, no worries. What, look at Pep when he started at Barca B and Barca, yeah. first team. Yeah. Unstoppable. Goes to Bayern and they're all telling me, oh, it's only Arteta that gets questioned because he lost his Champions League challenge first seat, first time. That's not the problem. I knew deep down there's no way we're going to compete with the elite clubs. That's a known fact. We might make round 16, quarterfinal, semifinal. That's great. But if we go out, go out humbly. Don't go out big chest, oh, where we're comparing our players with Real Madrid players. Good luck and prayers to Bayern. This is the worst Bayern team, and I've been telling my brother-in-law this. I'm like, well, what the hell's wrong with you guys allowing Leverkusen with Alonso to win it his first managerial season? Good on him for doing it. But they're telling me, oh, good luck, Barca, PSG, Bayern, and Real, and we can compete. We're second favourites to win the Champions League. Come on, man. And then in the yep. Premier League... They're telling me there's progress, there's progress, project youth, project bullshit. All I hear yeah. is, oh, it comes down to the inexperience. Well, that's the <laughs> that's the shit you get with young fuck with players. Yeah. Bro, yeah. the next time they tell you, yeah, why have you got an opinion? You're not a manager, yeah? Well, neither is Robbie, neither is Ty, neither is Julian, neither is Babs, neither is a gal. Yeah, all yep. these men that you man want to be listening to, they're not managers. So what qualifies them to tell us to believe? What qualifies them to tell us believe in Project Youth? What qualifies them to tell us get yep. behind Galatea? Because by the same standard, they're not managers. So why no, do you listen they're to just AFTV? nobody on AFTV they, is the manager? Nobody on AFTV. They're puppets. So why why are they're they puppets. Going to speak on this club? But we can't. Every time we speak, oh, you're not a manager. Though. What did you know? Well, what did they know, bro? Have they done their badges? Have they become a manager? No, they haven't, bro. So what's the difference? It's, the difference is funny. They say what you want to hear. They say what you want to hear. That's the difference, bro. Because yep. really, if we're going to say that no fan can have an opinion on a club online, then all the channels should shut down, bro. Because nobody's been Correct. a manager. What are they talking about? And if these men are talking about, oh, you can only have an opinion on, a cl on your club if you have your badges, yeah? Cool. Why are these men talking in the chat then? Why are these top gooners talking in the chat? Because you just said nobody can have an opinion unless you're a manager. You're not a manager. You're probably on job seekers, bro. You probably ain't even looked for virginity. You're probably telling me about what I'm about. Get out of here. Get out of here. But it's funny. It was, it was okay when Robbie came out with his Arsenal fan TV at the time. I can't remember what year it was. When I used to follow them, I was like, oh, this guy's being truthful and honest, allowing the fans at the club to have their say it was okay for them to do that when it was finger time but then give this manager time why don't you give emery time look what he done in his first season well what did we finish fifth and make europa finals in his first season and half of these players that are on the team now with arteta they're all emery signings yep or all, all his signings are all his signings are flops especially the Kai Havertz. I'm like, what has he done to justify his price tag? 65 million. He's on 290k a week. Yeah, yeah he's, he's laughing, mate. Chelsea owners are laughing. It's what crazy. phase was? It's crazy, what bro. phase were Leicester City in, bro? Yeah. 
when they talk about agendas and all of this type of stuff, yeah, why would I be online where I can be clicked saying online multiple times on multiple channels? If he wins me a major honor, I'm our tetter in. If he wins me, champ, yeah, or he wins me Champions League, yeah, I'm our tetter in. Does Matt, do you think I'm stupid? Do you think I can't be clipped? The thing is, I don't care. All I want, yeah, is for my club to be great. What's man talking about? What, look at this yeah. comment here. What's this comment here? I disagree with you, Northside, bro. Listen, as a fan, we're entitled to an opinion. But as a fan, we need to support the team. And if we support the team, it entails we have to believe we can win. I don't yeah, that's crap, bro. I that don't believe in delusion, yeah? If I tell you right now, yeah, <laughs> but you need to believe in someone, they got to earn your trust. It's called trust. Trust is earned. There, as your girlfriend, Not given. Your girlfriend just say to you, trust me. She had to earn your trust. If you got friends, they had to earn your trust, Yeah. Anyone around you earned your trust. If you start Fact. a new job, you got to earn their trust. What's the man talking about? About we got to believe. Yeah? If I tell you right now, give me your bank details and give me your bank card and give me your PIN number, but I won't take no money. Yeah? Would you trust me? No, you wouldn't. But I would say to you, but believe. You'll tell me, but I don't know you. Yeah? Why? Because it's you true. have no trust. I've never earned your trust for me to take your card and have your PIN number. Yeah? And not, not take out money, bro. To go out clubbing tonight. So trust is earned, bro. Trust is earned. Trust is not just given. Four years, he hasn't proven me wrong. So why should I trust Facts. him? Facts. Why should I trust him? It's pointless. When yep. you start YouTube, yeah, this is the last thing I'm going to say about trust. When I started YouTube, yeah, I was getting 20 views, 40 views, 50 views. You know why? People don't know yeah. who I am, bro. I had to be consistent. I had to stick to my guns of how I feel. Be real. And then people start subscribing. Because yep. trust ain't given. People subscribe when they see that they can rely on you. You're reliable. You turn up. Yeah? You turn up. You make content that people enjoy. Yeah? You stick to your guns. You're not a flip-flop on your opinions. Then they subscribe slowly, slowly. It's called building trust, bro. If I only wanted to stream once a week, do you think I'd be at the point I'm at right now? No, Fuck. I wouldn't. So what are we talking about here? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep, yep. Um, every football fan thinks, yeah, if you give this man time or give that man time, they're going to become Fergie or, 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 or Arsene Wenger. The difference with Sir Alex Ferguson and with Arsene Wenger is they, they earned it. They earned, they earned, the, they earned the trust. And, and this is what football fans need to get away from, right? Right. Um, there's not going to be another Sir Alex Ferguson. There's not going to be another Arsene Wenger. Arteta is not going to become the new Ars Arsene Wenger. That's what these Arsenal fan fans think. It's not going to happen, bro. Like, nowadays, yeah, coaches and um, managers get 14 months to show if they're good enough. And if they're not good enough, then they get sacked. If I'm in a job and I'm not performing, it doesn't matter about my age, about my skin colour, whatever. If I'm not performing at my job, I'm going to get sacked. This is the, the reality of life, people. So people need to stop living in Disneyland and in Cuckoo Land, and you know, like that. So absolute facts, Northside. Do you know where Arteta's going to go? If he doesn't win nothing, he's going to go in this small little bin. That's where his job's going to be. This is basically Arteta's work experience as a manager. This is his work experience as a manager with Arsenal Football Club. Who in their right mind made that decision? Yo, Joseph, what are you saying, bro? Have your say. How you, how you doing, bro? Mute. Joseph, you're on mute. You're on mute, bro. You're on mute, bro. bro. Yo, yo, yo! What are you saying, bro? Hello? What you got to say about the game? Yeah, I'm saying, you know, just, just a very boring game. Honestly, I honestly just kind of went to sleep. The game put you to sleep, yeah? Yeah. Do you think that we can still win the league? <sighs> honestly, there's a very low chance of. You are um, mighty lawful over the league because you know, see, obviously, that that just means in these like seven games to win all the games. So, I just see no chance of both teams winning the league. Mm. 
Mm. You think it's cities, yeah? You think city win it? Yeah. I hear that. Anybody on the panel disagree? Who who have you man got winning the league? City. 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 Yeah, I, I got my team winning it. AK, you know what, yeah? Let's quickly talk about your team against Chelsea. You guys were trash. You won that game, but you were trash, bro. But you got it over the line. You you won, though. What do you make of the performance against the gaming's team? Uh, yeah, as a lot of people say that uh, Chelsea are going to face a uh, knackered city for which, yeah, we played for which we played 120 minutes against Real Madrid and had to play the FA Cup semis. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm not going to come out here and say that we played great. Of course, I mean, like we had our chances. We weren't clinical enough, mm. but yeah, but we got the win and yeah, that's about, I mean, like every game we cannot be playing our own brand of football <clears throat> due to other reasons, but yeah, a win's a win and you know, and uh, yeah, on to the finals. And do you trust Chelsea though, by the way. You, do, you, do you trust your team to get over the line for the Premier League? Obviously you lost in penalties against Real Madrid. Do you think this is the time where City just have tunnel vision and win every game to the end of the season to, to win the Premier League? Uh, at the moment, yeah, we're in, a, we're in a winning streak. So if we keep up the streak, uh, I could see us winning the league and the FA Cup. Both, FA Cup. yeah? No. Nah. You see, bro, uh, I, I can uh, see them doing both, bro. I think they will. We, we don't know. I, I'm not gonna lie. The real king. I don't know if your team's gonna do what needs to be done against Coventry. Nah, we're, we're not. Bro, they're gonna get battered. We're not, bro. Bro, even if we beat Coventry, yeah, we're not beating City, bro. Even if we beat Coventry, bro, we're not beat. We 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 we're not beating City, bro. Like, like, bro, w bro, like, we are so we are so bad. We we are we are so bad as a football club, and we have been for a decade. And we've got shit players that like gone Nacho and Bruno and Rashford and all of these, all of these players, bro, bro. We've got Kobe Manu carrying Manchester United, bro. We got an eighteen year, year old carrying carrying us, bro. Kobe Manu, bro. So I, so I do not expect, I do not expect Manchester United, even if we do beat Coventry, to beat Man City. And I'm not 100% confident for that commentary game because I know Manchester United. I know my football club, and my football club, and my football club always love to set the bar like really low. Like they always, they always, they always find a way to lose against some stupid team, fam. So, this is what my team's been like for a decade. Nah, big up, bro. Uh, Northside, you're a true legend, my friend. You give everybody a chance. Um, to say something on your channels and voice their opinion says a lot about you, Heart of Gold. Listen, I'm just a fan. I never look at myself as more than anybody else. I, I will say this. The Real King, AK, Gaming for Life, Joseph, and my guy that's on now, Joseph, I've never met these guys. And when they've come on, I put the link out like everyone. I don't know if they're a top gooner. Obviously, now I know. But they could be. I put the link out to anyone and I let anyone jump on, bro. I don't stop the opinion of people that may have a different opinion to me. I don't stop people challenging me. Bro, this channel's for everyone. Yeah, I respect everyone that jumps on. I yeah. always tell everyone, listen, I try to get everyone to have their opinion, especially after a match reaction. I try and let everybody have their say. But, bro, we're all fans, bro. We've all sat there on channels, me, myself included, sat there on channels and you want to have your opinion. And sometimes you're not given the opportunity. I'd like to give as many people as possible the opportunity to have their say. Whether you support Arsenal or you don't, whether you agree with me or you don't, I don't know who's jumping on. But that goes to show you how many men in the chat, yeah, come talking rubbish to me. But I put the link out, and anyone that's behind stage, I let them come on. Yeah? Why don't they put their mic on and then come on and, and debate me? But they want to debate in the chat. Put your camera on. Put your mic on. I'm ready, bro. I'm here. I'm here every day. Do you know what I'm saying? And it just goes to show, yeah? These men are cowards. All these Arteta-ins are cowards, bro. The majority, 99% of them will not put their camera on and their mic on. Do Put the link on, jump on and debate if I'm Fact. wrong. 
But in the Facts. chat, you're negative. You're neg- Tell me why I'm negative, bro. Jump on and let's talk. They don't want to, bro. So listen, big up to all of you, know. I respect everybody's opinion, even if I disagree right. or you agree, disagree with me. This is what football's about, bro. Debate. Yep. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And just That's because the yeah, the Aiming for Life yeah, and the Royal King are talking trash talk on Arsenal, I respect <laughs> you have the same energy for their club. Yeah? To be yeah. fair, Damien has been saying, bro, we did the watch along, he's been saying that Chelsea are trash. Uh, the real king has been saying, bro, he doesn't even trust this club to even do it against Coventry. And even if they do, you don't see this club winning, bro, in the final. So we keep the same energy around it. Listen, you know what yeah. I'm but I'm going to say saying. one thing. Go on. City not, are not winning the Prem. For me? The Arsenal. Well, you're gonna struggle against Brighton. You're gonna struggle. <laughs> wow, bro. Gonna, it's gonna, bro. It's gonna be long, man. I'm, trust me, bro. If you watch City for, for, for the past for the past eight games. seasons, Chelsea we've come back from the situation. We've come back from the situation. We can do it again. Hey. But AK, yep. AK, listen, your your team doesn't does have know how, but today you guys were trash. Bernardo was rubbish. Bernardo I acknowledge was that, bro. Trash. I acknowledge he that. Foden was rubbish. He had that chance to run the pitch. We missed that opportunity. Alvarez was basically out the game. He had one opportunity in the box. He's taken like 20 touches. Grealish today, non-existent. Trying to get fouls wasn't really working. Kevin De Bruyne, his last bro. Some of his passing was okay. But ultimately, bro, the guy is in and out of the game, bro. The guy, like, just runs around and, bro, he just strolls the game, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, everything ain't really ticking. One thing you guys did very, very well, though. One thing Man City did very, very well that I will give them. Rodri and Stones kept Cole Palmer quiet the majority of the game, bro. Majority of the game, they kept him quiet, bro. Mm. But even then, I I feel sorry for Palmer because Palmer was playing through balls into... Through balls, yeah. Yeah. Martinez. And to um, Jackson and to Madueke and that yeah, and, Jackson, and to him um, and, and, and Enzo and that. Jackson to that whipped cream haircut. <laughs> That's your boy, bro. Hey, Jackson no. is your Enketia, bro. That's no, your Enketia. No, no, no. <laughs> listen. Nah, listen, the stars are not aligning for Arsenal. It won't be on Tuesday. Your defense is in trouble. Jackson in the room. <laughs> <laughs> And just for that comment, uh, this is something you will never see. Champions League final. This is yeah? something you will never see. I can't lie, yeah? You ain't seen that for a hot minute as well. I can't lie to you. You ain't seen that again for a hot We're minute. We're going to see that in the next Bam. three years. We're going to have a Champions League in the next three years. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see about that. We'll see about that, innit? Like, we'll see about that. Yeah? Give Poch another five, ten years, bro. Pop belly Poch, oh, yeah? Give him time, off, ten years. Nice. Go. <laughs> pop belly Poch, bro. He's looking like, he... Bro, my guy's looking like Sam Aladici, bro, with that How about belly, if you bro? give us Arteta <laughs> and we'll give you Poch? Huh? <laughs> How about if we give you Poch, you give us Arteta? Now, we ain't doing stops with you, you lot. You lot take the piss. We already what had... You, mean, you, you took Kai Havertz. Huh? You took Kai Havertz for 65 million. Yeah, and Jorginho. And Jorginho. <laughs> Exactly, and really, really. Ah, you know what? <laughs> I, I, I'm, I, I'm trying to spit. I'm trying to think logically. Oh, oh, oh. These men had to bring that up. Look at it. Nameless. <laughs> but listen, Peter, what are you saying for the rest of the season, bro? Any chances that we're going to win the league? What, what's, what's your opinion? Season over. For me, I'm not trying to influence your opinion. For me, season's done, bro. I said it after we lost against Villa. What about you, bro? Uh, for me, season was done when we drew to Tottenham at home with that Jorginho bullshit uh, stuff up pass. That's points lost there. And with the Aston, good on Emery, mate. He should have stayed. We should have kept him, given him time. Look what he's doing at Aston. So, season's done. Regardless if uh, Man City draw or lose one game, we've still got Tottenham, Chelsea, Man U. I don't know who else is remaining, but I can't see us winning every single game. If, if, if the manager gets second again, would you give him another chance and more money? Oh, 100%. Yeah, yeah, why not? Give him another four years and uh, another 700 mil. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Come on, guys. You just, uh, we just, we just got to believe, like what Robbie says from bullshit AFTV. Trust the process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Go tell Fergie that back in the days when he's managing, if he's yeah. telling his players, guys, is it the journey yeah. or the destination? Yeah. Imagine telling yeah. that to Roy Keane and uh, your Neville's <laughs> and uh, yeah. <laughs> it would have probably killed uh, Fergie. Hey, don't worry, Go guys. Ahead. We need to take a drink yeah. of water, water. We need to have a water yeah. break. Don't worry, guys. We're going to win the Premier League. Don't We're worry, guys. League. Don't no, worry, guys. guys. We're going to win the Premier I'm League. I'm out, guys. I'm out, guys. Thanks for having me, Northside. Keep it real, mate. Yep. Yeah. Big up, man. Going out the Champions League, going out the Champions League was a blessing in disguise. That's what these men were saying. So. I told you, Northside, you're gonna get I did say. I'm not getting But don't worry, man. Don't Robbie saying we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. We got yeah. bigger fish to fry. No I'm going to be a hater. I'm going to be no a side. hater, 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 hater. You know what about like that KG and no that side. stuff. You know what we need to do? Yo. On Monday, we need to do a stream preview about Chelsea versus Arsenal. <sighs> but not the watch round. I'm not going to be happy for the Chelsea game. You're shameless. I swear that you're shameless. Bro, we're not, we're not going to do the watch along <laughs> because you, you're going to be so shameless on the watch along, just like you were today. What would you mean, sh- nah, 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 nah. What just, you mean sh- nah, 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 nah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I don't uh, like your club in it, so I wanted your club to lose. Like, how's that shameless? Yeah, but like, I want to enjoy tomorrow with my United Tears losing to Coventry. Oh, oh yeah. Which, of course. I'm doing a watch along for of that. Course. That game is at three, isn't it? It's at three o'clock. Three thirty. Of course, like, of course, like. Like obviously you guys don't know this, but obviously I've wanted mm. Eric Ten I've wanted Eric Ten Hag out since we lost three two against Gallet Tesserai at Old Trafford. I've wanted this man out since then, since we lost three two against Gallet Tesserai at Old Trafford in the second group stage um, game in the Champions League. That's how long I've wanted this man. Out. I've wanted I've wanted Ten Hag out since start of like o- October. Because this guy, this guy's, this guy's big, big, big fraud. The way that he, ha- that the way that he has handled San Sancho, and said that oh, Sancho's a bad trainer, but then says in the next press conference that Marcus saying that we have to keep on playing Marcus um, Rashford because he's going to get us goals. Like, what is that about, bro? Like what? What on earth is that about? And this man says we can't play a style. This man says we can't play a style of play when he's been here for eighteen months. So how comes? How comes Ange Ange Coglu and Eddie Howe and Pep Guardiola and we can banter about Arteta? Arteta have have implemented a style of play. Mm. How? Like, bro. Like in inside eighteen and twenty months. I still don't know how Manchester Chester United play. I don't know if we're a countering attacking team. I don't know if we're a shan- transition team. I don't know if we're a possession based team. I don't know what we are, bro. We are Moments FC, bro. We are Scott McTominay and Moments FC. That's what we are, bro. Like, bro, Scott McTominay always pops up with a goal, bro. Like, <laughs> this is what it is, and uh, and, and people say Premier, the Premier League is the best league in the world. Yeah, we are we are seventh in the table. We should be not seventh in the table. We should be fifteenth in the table, because I can only name like two games, two or three games this season that my team have has played well for for the whole entire, entire game. We have a twenty minute spell, and then. And then after that, after that we just after that we just die, bro. That's 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 my football club, bro. And 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 I will always call out my fan base, bro. These these fans what say they want glazers out, glazers out, glazers out, yeah. Yeah, they still go they still go to the games and they still pay the glazers. The fan the man United fans still pay the glazers. So so I don't want to hear this nonsense about Glazers out and 
and and I've said this before, right? About um, Pochettino and Ten Hag, because a lot of fans have been saying, "Oh, Pochettino and Ten Hag has ha- have had a lot to deal with at their football clubs." Why did Eric Ten Hag came? Well, if he knew that he had a lot, lot. If he if he knew that Manchester, if he knew that Manchester United was a mess, why did he come? Like, like, and and same thing with Pochettino. If he knew Chelsea was a mess, why did he? Why did he come, bro? So man, don't want to hear about about all these excuses, bro. Because these men deserve it, bro. These men wanted to take the job, bro, and this is what they get. But let me tell you something about Poch. Poch has more resources than he did at Tottenham. Exactly. Yeah. That's yeah, why yeah. he took the job. Yeah, yeah, but 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 what I'm saying is gaming for life. What I'm saying is yeah. Is that a lot of your fans and a lot of my fans come up with like come up with an excuse saying that oh he's had a lot to deal with saying saying that Ten Hogs had a lot to deal with, bro. A manager's job is to get the best out of the players that they've got, bro. And Ten Hog and Pochettino haven't done that, fam. Yeah, like Cole Palmer. Like Cole Cole Palmer, Cole Palmer is a natural talent, bro. Let's not. The Cole he's Palmer a is a natural talent. Academy, bro. He 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 he's a natural talent, bro. Like, oh. l- let's not do this. Like, this this. I, I'm tired of. I'm tired of. I'm tired of that excuse, bro. Like, the, Poch and Ten Hag. The point is, po- Poch and Ten Hag knew what they were getting themselves into. They knew what they were getting themselves into. So, I don't want to hear like. N- like I, I don't want to hear that that excuse of my club and Chelsea fans should not hear that excuse for their football club, because Man, Un- Man United and, and, and Chelsea should be not should be not should be not underperforming in the Premier League, and this has shown another Premier League when all the Premier League teams apart from Aston Villa have got knocked out in Europe, bro. The, Prem- the, the Premier League isn't 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 the same, bro. Man United should be fifteenth in the table the way that we've been playing. Oh, so yeah, you definitely should be. We should be up. We should not be ninth. We should be six at yeah, least. Yeah, that's what I mean. You should hey, be six. Hey, There's another crap that you told me. Hey, yeah, you said wash up on. You didn't tell me the link. No. Huh? Come to me. Believe, bro. Yeah? No. Freeze, freeze, bro, this is Project Blue Lake, bro. Blue Lake. Freeze the lake and we could do Frozen. You know what I mean? Let it go. Let it go. You know what wait, I mean? but where's, wait, wait, wait. Where's, where's the European Cup? How many have you won? Oh, is that what you're doing, yeah? Oh, oh yeah, okay. No, no, no. No worries. No worries. No worries. Because, listen, you know me, bro. Everything I say is documented. I'm not twerking for my, my yeah. project. Yeah, you can face. Next time you complain about Poch, I'm going to say, what about the European Cups, bro? What about yeah, the European I've Cup? already said poch out. No, yep. no, 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 no. Some of them are a waka waka a a 60 million. UCA is the J. Who's that? Hey, 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 one Jackson, there's only one Jackson. You know Listen, what? I, I, I cannot wait for a Northside tears on Tuesday when we beat Arsenal. I can't wait for it. You know what? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Every time Chelsea leaves, I'm coming for you now. Every single time. You're like, <laughs> yeah, I'm coming for Top Man. Top man. <laughs> top man. Oh. No worries, no worries. But listen, people, we're gonna have to wrap up. We're gonna have to wrap up. We're gonna wrap up mm. with uh, Joseph. Has been waiting patiently. Big Joseph, up. as an Arsenal fan, bro, uh, who have you got winning the league, bro? Unmute yourself, please, bro. No. Who have you got winning the league, bro? Um, as I said just, just before, uh, Man City. I just been Would you keep? Would you keep Arteta another year? Yes. Pardon? Would you keep Arteta another year? Oh, so I was just talking about. I'm, I'm actually not an Arsenal fan. Who do you support? Liverpool. Liverpool? Yeah. Get out of here, man. <laughs> <laughs> you never walk alone. You know I what I mean, fam? 
the gospel, man. No worries. Let's quickly get CJ because I do have to wrap up. I'm going to be jumping on with Lee Gunner um, in a bit. CJ, have your say, bro, on the game. Yeah. Um, it was a, it was a good match. Good match. We got we got the win. Uh, you know the the, the result is important. Are you are you happy? Do you think that Arsenal are going to win the league? No. I'm I'm actually I'm on the same I'm 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 actually singing from this from the same hymn book as you. Oh, you're an Arsenal fan. <laughs> yeah. You're an Arsenal fan. Would you give? Yeah. Um, just to wrap up the show, would you give um, Arteta another year more money? For what reason? We. <laughs> When when you when you when you when you get when you get that opportunity as Ateta did, you have to show you have to show improvement. You have to show intent. And and this and the decisions Ateta making, that is not intent. I just think that when when they make the decision, they doesn't take the, the fan base into consideration. When you have the likes like Eddie and Ketia renewing this kind of contracts, mediocre players. When last have we signed? When last have Arsenal sign a, 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 a make a statement signing? When Declan last? Rice. Declan Rice, yes, but Declan Rice alone cannot cannot um, win your league. I Declan Rice and all the huh? Ozil was probably that when we bought Ozil, who was no. But I, I, I'm speaking about in in Ateta's um era. Yeah, but he likes kids, bro. This guy's moving like he's Michael Jackson. He likes kids, bro. Because, because high school musical in that fam. High school no, no musical side, in that fam. No side, you, why, I don't, why I don't support Ateta is because last year, when we were in the... In the when, when, when we were at the top last year, right? January. January, I'm um, transfer window. We are the top of the, we are the, top of the league. We know exactly this squad wasn't good enough mm. to to get us to the to the to the promised land. Mm. And you go and you and you go and you buy Jorginho and Kivio. That is you. That is not showing sure intent that you want to win anything. So I cannot today so say I want to support him because give him a next year again because he has not been showing intent. Mm. <laughs> no, he I has never been showing me this DJ, this DJ. this. I'm I'm from Dominica. Hey, big up, big up, yeah? <laughs> big up, man. Big up the big Caribbean, up. man. Yeah, I say. Yeah. Big up the big Caribbean, up. Yeah, man. I, man. Would you live in yeah, London? I, I, no, I live in France. You live I'm in, in France? France? Hey, come on, yeah. that guy, bro. <laughs> big up, man. <laughs> you know what I, mean? I, hear the, I heard yeah. the accent. I'm like, where in the country? You know what I mean? From? Yeah, yeah, man. So, Half Jamaican so, and that fam. Know yeah. what I mean? I'm Jamaican. Okay, I'm okay. Jamaican. I'm I'm half okay. Jamaican, bro. So you know what I mean, bro. So yeah, yeah man. I mean, yeah, man. A lot of Jamaican friends, though. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah. Wait, the Caribbean's nice, and I went to Dominican Republic. Listen, the Caribbean is nice, bro. Nice. Uh, you see that sun and you see that beach. I'm not gonna let the Caribbean. Yeah, man. Nice. Sun and sand, yeah. Nice, yeah, bro. Man. I always got love from bro. the Caribbean girls. You know what I'm saying? Love to Jamaica, bro. Always love to Jamaica, bro. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, I've been, bro. I've, I've you know been watching you. No, side. I've been watching you. I, I've been watching you a long time. You know, and um, so I, I, I don't think I'll be able to do what you're doing because it takes a lot of patience if there's some of this asking to be fan based. You know, mm. it's crazy, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's nah, crazy bro. because if, if if I hear it, I understand it. I understand it. But for me, no side loves doing this. I love doing this, bro. And listen, those days I don't feel like it, bro, because you feel like you're you're battling an uphill battle. But you know what? Yep. You guys jumping on, having your say, the, the interaction in the chat, that gets me through, yep. bro. That gets me through on days that I don't Fact. feel like doing. Yeah. Me through when, when Arsenal yeah, are no, sorry, we know about again. That. You know yep. what I mean? You guys get me through. <laughs> and that's why when you guys want to jump on and have your say, I always yep. want to let you guys have your say, bro, because I appreciate it. And without you yep. guys, there's no channel. And I think some channels out there forget that without the community, there's no channel, bro. There's no channel. Yeah. You know, when I, when I, I, yeah. when there's no passion, heart. there's no loyalty. When I, <laughs> there is no, when, passion, when I, when there I, no aggression, there is no fucking mindset in this football club. <laughs> <laughs> 
Big up, 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 London, one thing I love about London, especially North London and Northwest London, it's multicultural. One thing I mm. love when I'm saying, AK, an Asian brother jumping on, a Jamaican guy, a Dominican guy, someone be from, from Czech, you know what I'm saying? Like, all walks of life, bro, but we all support Arsenal. That's the thing that we come together, you know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, I know you yeah. Are, yeah, to be fair, there's something you for Arsenal, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> At least we got the same standards, innit? You know what I'm saying? At least we got the same yeah. standards. And that's the things that I like, bro. Having people yep. have to say, bro, and honestly, I say it genuinely, yeah. Okay. I I didn't grow up here yeah, with my dad. I didn't have a dad, yeah. I didn't grow up. My mom couldn't afford mm. to go to Arsenal games. I never have those memories of being in an Arsenal kit and these kind of things, yeah. But this is something that I can leave to my to my grandchildren and my children and say, yo, I supported Arsenal, and this is how I supported. This is what I did for the love of my club, innit? This is documented what I did, how I loved my club, innit? And that, that's yeah. that's my thing for my for for the community and for my football club. So, listen, I'm gonna have to bounce. I'm going on player <laughs> ratings with Lee now. Make yeah. sure you go over to Lee Gunner. I don't know if let me see if I can redirect. Everyone, everyone, subscribe to Northside Channel. You know we always keep it 100 around here. You know like that. Big big up big up everyone on this panel. We keep it 100 here. We don't say no nonsense, fam. We keep 100. it 100. The road to 100. Come on. Come big on, up man. Northside, man. <laughs> big on, up to everyone, man. Listen, we're though. redirecting to Lee Gunner. Big up to all of you lot that jumped on. We're redirecting to Road Lee to 10k, bro. bro. Right now, make 10K, sure. 10k, man. 10k. Road to 10k. 10K. Northside Raid, yeah? As you come in, make sure you say Northside Raid. Blue. About. Well,